you're the one to write a Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my Halloween decor haul for 2023. I decided to go with a black and white theme with lots of ghosts and bats. I have a couple mummies and some witches that I'm going to incorporate into my decor and I am so excited to share everything with you all. I did tons of shopping at several different stores. I have stuff from At Home, Kirkland's, Marshalls, TJ Maxx and Home Goods, and I also have a few things that I got at Hobby Lobby. I have some Amazon finds and I have one thing that I picked up at Target in the dollar spot. My local Targets have not put out a ton of decor yet but I did end up finding a really cute little pumpkin so I'll show you all that as well and we're gonna go ahead and dive right into the haul. I'm going to share everything by what store I got it at and we're going to start off with what I got it at home. At Home has a ton of decor to choose from and I did two shopping videos at that store. So if you haven't gotten a chance yet to see my shopping videos and that's something that you are interested in, I'm going to leave links in the description box down below of all of the Halloween shopping videos that I have done. And we're gonna jump right into the haul now. So the first thing that I picked up are these really cute little like bubble letter words. This one says spooky and this is $9.99. And I don't know if they typically run sales on their decor. I've just recently started shopping there, um, but I did pay full price for all of these. I just wanted to share that as a little disclaimer. I'm not sure how their sales schedule works. Hobby Lobby is the main store that I know about their sales. Um, but yeah, so the spooky was $9.99 and then the boo was $8.99. And also to go along with those, they also had a little ghost that kind of matched that same vibe. It has kind of like that bubbled effect as well. And this was only $6.99 and I thought that it was super cute. The next thing that I picked up, which I will be pairing with something that I got at Marshall's and I'll show you all that in just a minute, but I grabbed this sign that says, who needs Halloween? I'm a witch all year. I thought that this would be really cute to put somewhere in my room. And this was $7.99. I feel like at home is really good at having different like little wood signs for affordable prices. I definitely feel like they're a lot cheaper than other stores when it comes to little signs like this. And I picked up one other wooden sign there. I'm going to use this in the entryway. It says home sweet haunted home. And then around the edges, it has a bunch of skulls all over it and bats and like spider webs. And this was only $9.99. I thought this would be the perfect size to put on the little shelf in my entryway area. And then I'm probably gonna have like some bats coming like from the bottom and moving their way up. I think that will be really cool. So I'm excited to see how that turns out. I picked up a couple items for the tiered tray because most of my tiered tray stuff from last year, I just incorporated my fall stuff into the Halloween. And this year I'm finally buying the Halloween decor that I have been wanting. So I did pick up a couple different little things. I got this little Hocus Pocus pumpkin. This was $4.99 and then I also grabbed this tombstone and it says, don't make me come up there. I thought this was really funny. They had a couple different options of this one with different sayings. I don't remember for sure what the other one said, but I know they had other options and this one was also $4.99. The last items that I picked up at At Home were a few different throw pillows. They have a massive selection of throw pillows this year and they have tons of cute options. So it's kind of difficult for me to choose exactly which ones I wanted, but I knew as soon as I saw this bat that I had to have it. I thought this was absolutely adorable and it kind of has um, like a Squishmallow feel to it. It's not quite as squishy as the Squishmallows, but that's what it makes me think of. And this one was $14.99, which I just thought was a great price because even at Marshall's, I feel like this pillow would have been more expensive than that. Most of the times throw pillows are like $19.99 and up. So I thought this was super cute. And I think that this is going to end up in my room since it's my favorite thing that I got this year. I feel like it's only fitting to put it in my bedroom. And I also grabbed this one here that has potion bottles on it. The first one says boo at the top and then it says um, wool of bat magic. This one says witch's hats, zombie brew RIP. And then this one is spider hair. 
I thought this was really neat and definitely went with the color scheme. This one was $22.99, which again, I didn't think was too bad for this since it is all embroidered and has a ton of detail on it. And the last thing that I picked up at, at home is this boo pillow. I think I'm going to put this one in the entryway, but we'll see what I do with everything as I do all of my decorating. But this one has a really nice lace detail along the entire edge of the pillow. And then it has like some 3D bats that are coming off of it. I thought this one was really cool. It's got some stars embroidered and then the big moon. And this one was $19.99. So I'm going to go ahead and grab everything from the next store. And I'm going to show you what I got at Marshall's. All right, so diving into what I picked up at Marshall's, the first thing that I found that I grabbed is this cute little ceramic cat that has glasses. I know this isn't technically a Halloween item, but it does go with the white and black color scheme. And I thought this would be really cute to sit on a shelf somewhere. And I just love the little glasses. It kind of made me think of the cow with glasses at Hobby Lobby that everybody has been obsessed with. If you are on Hobby Lobby Fanatics, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. And this was $7.99 and I think it is absolutely adorable. The next thing that I picked up is a cat mug. It's like a pumpkin shaped cat and the holder or the handle of the mug is the cat's tail. I think this is super cute. This is probably going to end up sitting on the Keurig and this one was $5.99. The next thing that I picked up is this really cute sparkly black pumpkin. This was only $12.99 which I didn't think was a bad price. And I also wanted to let you all know the reason I didn't end up filming a shopping video when I was there is because they are in the middle of renovating my store at the moment and it was a complete disaster in there. They had all of the Halloween stuff practically like shoved in this one little area with a few shelves. It was completely cluttered and chaotic and I just could not stand how messy it was attempting to film a video. So I did not end up filming. I just grabbed a few things that I really liked and got out of there. And I probably won't be going back until they're finished with those renovations because it is definitely crazy in there at the moment. But there's that sparkly pumpkin. And the next thing that I grabbed is a set of hand towels. I do already have some Halloween hand towels, but all of the ones I have from last year are very colorful, lots of orange and purple and green. And I knew that what I have wouldn't really go with the color scheme that I'm going for. So I found this one with these really cute ghosts all over it. This is a set of four towels. It also comes with a solid white and a solid black. And this was only $9.99. The next thing that I picked up is a blanket. I knew that I would need some blankets because I just don't have any Halloween ones. And I found this one that has a black background and then it has skeletons all over it. This one was $16.99 and I think this is going to be really cute to mix in with my decor. I also picked up this super cute witch. This is what I was talking about that's going to go with that sign that I got at home. This one right here. And if you've seen what my bedroom looks like over on my dresser, I have a little stool that has a plant sitting on it. It's a little plant stand. I'm planning on taking the plant off and sitting her on it. And then I'm going to have this little sign sitting next to her because I thought that would be really cute together. And she was $12.99. They had a few other ones, but this one was my favorite. I think she is really cute. And I think she's going to go great with all of my decor. And the last thing that I picked up at Marshall's is something that I have been searching for for the last three years. And I've never been able to find one. But I found the ghost rug. So this is going to go in the kitchen and I absolutely love it. It's just a runner rug. I have also seen from other YouTubers a uh, bat one that has like a white background and has black bats all over it. I think that one would be cute as well, but I was very happy coming across this one. It was the only one they had and it was only $29.99. So I definitely had to grab it and I know that this is something that will last me a long time. Now we're moving on to what I picked up at TJ Maxx and the very first thing that I found are these super cute ceramic ghosts that light up and then they have like little bats cut out of them. I did pick up two of these because I want to put them on the entertainment center and I like to have whatever I have on the entertainment center mirroring on both sides. So I did pick up both of these and these were 
$16.99 each, which I thought was a pretty good price because of how big they are. The next thing that I found at TJ Maxx is this super cute mummy. I think Simply Kaylee here on YouTube has one of these. I vaguely remember seeing one in her videos at some point, um, but I had to grab it when I found it and I actually ended up naming him Carl. I don't know where that came from. It just came to my mind while I was in the store. So this is Carl the mummy and I think he's super cute. He's probably gonna end up going in the entryway. And I only picked up a couple more things at TJ Maxx. It's the last store that I went to to do some shopping at. So I was basically just searching for the finishing touches. I found this really cute little ghost candle and it smells amazing. The scent is marshmallow cocoa and it smells like a really sweet hot chocolate. It kind of reminds me of the hot cocoa and cream candle at Bath and Body Works. And then I think they, I think it's hot cocoa and scream for Halloween. They have it for Halloween and Christmas. But this was $9.99. I do plan on actually burning this candle and I will probably just hang on to the jar and use it as decor once I've burned the candle through. But I thought this would be super cute for the coffee table. And I don't know if I already said, but the price was $9.99 for this. And the last thing that I picked up at TJ Maxx is this really cute um, like buffalo check runner and I think I'm going to try and put this on the uh, like coffee bar area I already have one that I got for the coffee table and that is from Amazon I'll show you all that one here in a minute but I absolutely fell in love with this one because it has these cute little ghost tassels all over it and I just absolutely love it they're on both ends of it and this was only $16.99 so I definitely couldn't pass it up now we are moving on to all the decor that I picked up at Home Goods. The very first thing that I grabbed when I walked in the store is this Happy Halloween sign. It's got spider webs and some spiders on it and the Halloween is all glitter. I don't know if you all can see that on camera, but this was $14.99 and I think I'm going to put this next to the sink where I have my little setup with the lamp and the picture and candles. I think it'll be really cute there and I think I'm going to put some bats on the candles over there. We'll see how that ends up turning out. The next thing that I picked up, which was also by the front of the store up, like right when you walk in, is this set of three little ghosts. They have like different faces. I think these are really cute. They do light up and batteries were included, which is always a perk. Most of the time when you buy stuff that needs batteries, they are not included. So I definitely liked that. And these were $12.99 for the set of three. The next thing that I picked up is this cute little ghost couple. He has on a little top hat and she has a little pink bow. I debated taking this bow off and switching it out for a different color, but I think I'm just going to leave it. It's really cute and I don't have any colors in with my Halloween decor with it just being black and white, so I think it'll look okay. They're probably going to end up sitting on the couch or in the entryway. I haven't really decided yet. A lot of this, I just grabbed stuff that I loved and I'll figure out what to do with it as I am decorating. The next two things that I picked up, I actually grabbed before I decided I was gonna do black and white, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep them. I did grab this little mug here that has two little pumpkins stacked on top of each other. This was $6.99, and even if I don't have this sitting out with my decor, I thought that it would be nice to use, and I always like to make a little drink in my videos, so I might use this as my mug and share some sort of drink recipe with you all. I think that would be really fun. So I did pick that one up by the checkout and this was $6.99. And I also grabbed this little ghost, it's like the wooden beads and it has the little ghost at the end. And this was $4.99 and I really love this. I'm gonna try to get the sticker off, but it bugs me that they put the price tag right on the front of it instead of putting it on the back because that's going to be so much harder to get off and I don't wanna mess it up. But I'll figure that out and this is probably gonna go on the tiered tray. I have two more items that I picked up at a different home goods. I actually went to a home goods in another state and they had a ton of Halloween decor there. It was so hard for me to only grab a couple things. So at the second Home Goods that I went to, I ended up finding this really cute little witch. This one was 
And I also picked up this little sign. I thought that this would be cute maybe to put by the coffee bar or something somewhere in the kitchen. And this was $5.99. So that is all for home goods. We only have Kirkland's and Hobby Lobby left. So let me go ahead and grab that stuff and dive into that. All right, I'm back with all of my finds from Kirkland's and I definitely feel like Halloween is absolutely taking over my bed at this point. But the first thing that I grabbed is this really cute plant stand. It's just a little spider that you can put the plant on top of it. This is probably gonna go on my nightstand with the plant that I already have sitting over there. And this was $16.99. I'm trying to remember the sale that was going on when I was there. I think they had um, like 25% off of the Halloween wall decor. And then I think there was a coupon to get an additional like 20% off for customer appreciation or something like that. I feel like they always have some sort of coupon going on. So 90% of the time if you go there, you're more than likely going to get stuff on sale. Um, but there is that little spider plant stand. I thought he was really cute. And then I wanted to grab these little plaid pumpkins. I got the small size and the bigger one. Um, the smallest one was $7.99 and the bigger one is $14.99. These are technically a part of their fall section, but they still have a ton of fall stuff out mixed in with the Halloween stuff. So it is a good time to grab stuff like this. Another thing that I grabbed that is also fall they had the plush pumpkin pillows. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I thought it was so cute. This was $39.99. I know this was on sale, but I don't remember what the percentage off was. I want to say that I ended up getting it for like 50% off, but I could be wrong about that. Uh, but it didn't really matter to me either way. I wanted to pick it up. They only had four of them when I was there and I've been back since and they were completely sold out of them. So I'm glad that I picked it up when I did. The next thing that I picked up is another pillow and this is the last pillow that I picked up for Halloween. I do have some pillow covers from Amazon, um, but this one was $24.99. And again, this was on sale with the pillows, but I don't remember how much this was on sale for either. I also picked up this cute um, black wooden pumpkin. This was $9.99 and I thought this would be good to sit on a shelf somewhere. I'm sorry, that's kind of hard to see. I feel like it's kind of blending into my shirt, uh, but I thought that was super cute. And quite possibly my favorite thing that I picked up there is this super cute little ghost mug. I loved that he has like little arms. He is so cute and he was only $8.99. I also picked up these two haunted houses that are black metal and they do light up. Here is the smaller one. This one was $19.99. I'm trying to turn that on. You can't really see that light because of my window. Um, but that does light up and then the smaller one was $14.99. And the last thing that I picked up at Kirkland's is this Hocus Pocus sign. I absolutely fell in love with this when I walked in the door. This was $39.99 and this was on sale. I think it was 20% off. Um, so I don't know how much that ended up making that, but this is going to go up on the entertainment center. So we're about to move into the Hobby Lobby stuff, but I wanted to show you all this little pumpkin real quick. It's just a small little white Sherpa pumpkin. This is what I got at Target in the dollar spot and this was three dollars. I thought that this would be really cute to mix in with my Halloween decor and now I'm going to show you what I got at Hobby Lobby. I didn't get a ton of stuff but I did find some blankets. This one was in with the Christmas stuff. I got this for 50% off. It was originally $18.99 and this is gonna go on the couch. I've really been loving layering a bunch of different blankets on the couch, so I definitely wanted to pick that one up. And then I also found these on clearance. Um, these were 75% off of the original price, which was $21.99, so I ended up getting them for $5.49 each. And I did also pick up a few other colors to use for different seasons. I think I got a red one, a pink one, and a blue one, I believe. I definitely ended up with a ton of blankets, but it's hard to pass them up when they go on clearance for such a great price. So there are the blankets that I grabbed. I did grab a few pumpkins from the fall section. I got this little bag that has the buffalo plaid pumpkins and then the solid white ones. This was $6.99 originally and the fall stuff was all 40% off. 
And then I just got this little white one that was originally $2.49 and this black one that was $3.99. And the last thing that I picked up at Hobby Lobby, I got this a couple weeks ago when all of the spring stuff went 90% off. They had two of these like fabric garlands left that are black and white stripes and these were originally $19.99 so I got these for $1.99 each. Definitely couldn't pass that up and I think that they will be perfect to add into the decor somewhere. I'm thinking about putting one up on the top of my bed and one on the entertainment center but we'll see what I end up doing with them. And the only other thing that I picked up at Hobby Lobby, I'm actually not going to pull up here to show you all, but I got a couple black feather boas. They were $3.99 each, and I think I'm going to use them on the island and recreate my pumpkin patch, but do a Halloween version of it. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab the Amazon stuff and show you all what I got on there. So from Amazon, I did pick up some new pillow covers because y'all know I always like to switch them out for the different seasons. And I typically like to get the Mix Hug brand of the pillow covers, but those unfortunately did not come in black. So I did have to order a different brand this time. And I will link them down below, the ones that I ended up picking up. But I just wanted some black velvet pillow covers. Here's what they look like. They feel like a pretty good quality, but I don't think they're quite as nice as the Mix Hug brand. Um, but I'll update you all on how I feel about them once I actually decorate with them. I ordered them in 16 by 16 and 18 by 18. The uh, orange pillows that you can no longer see on my bed are 18 by 18. And then for my couch, I like to mix several different sizes. So I have larger ones that are, they're probably about 22 by 22. Those are actual pillows that I got at Marshall's. And then I have 18 by 18 and 16 by 16. Another pillow cover that I picked up from Amazon is this really cute ghost one. I'm going to go ahead and open it and show it to you all. This is a lumbar pillow cover and I already have the pillow inserts, which I will link my favorite pillow inserts down below as well as links to all of the Amazon stuff and definitely all of the Kirkland stuff. I'll see if I can find some links to some of the Hobby Lobby items, but I don't know for sure if all of their fall stuff is still on their website, but if I can find it, I'll put it down there. Um, so there is this and let me grab my phone so I can give you all the prices. I almost forgot to do that. So the solid black velvet pillow covers were $9.99 each for a set of two. So I had the two different sets of those and the two different sizes. The ghost one is, let's see, it's loading. The ghost one was $8.99 and they also carry it in an 18 by 18, which is also $8.99 and you only get one of them in the order. You don't get a twin pack of them. The next thing that I picked up is a really cute set of potion bottles. I went through and looked at several different ones and a lot of them did not come with the stickers already attached. You had to do it yourself, which I did like the fact that with those, you had several options of what you could put on your bottles, but I felt like with these, the labels were going to be more secure and I wasn't going to have to worry about them coming off. So this was a set of three of them and these were $13.99. They do currently have a 10% off coupon. Hopefully that is still going when you all see this video, but the white one that it comes with says ghost tears. And then it came with two black ones. This one is Black Cat Hisses. And then there is also one that says Witch's Brew. And I thought these would be really cute. They'll work for the tiered tray and maybe to sit on like one of my hanging shelves. I wanted to have some smaller items that I can mix in different places because I didn't really have anything like that that I had gotten at the other stores. The next thing that I picked up is this black and white buffalo check runner. This is exactly the same as the cream color one that I have on the coffee table right now. It's just the black version and I'm planning on ordering the red one for Christmas. Um, but this one is a 13 by 72 inch runner and it is $11.98 and I think it's the same price for all the different colors. Um, it comes in red, black, blue, and like a beige color for the buffalo plaid. And then they also have stripes in the same colors, beige, blue, black, and red. I also grabbed a set of black and white buffalo plaid pillow covers in 18 by 18. These were $9.99 each and they do also come in several other sizes and lots of other colors. 
I thought that was a pretty good price for these and these are definitely really thick pillow covers. And the last thing that I picked up from Amazon, I'm not going to actually open it. In fact, I'll probably pop up a picture right here of what it looks like on the website so y'all can see what it is. Um, but I got the witch hats that you can hang up with the string and have them like floating from the ceiling. And I'm planning on putting those in the kitchen. I think it'll be super cute. I'm planning on having them hanging at like different heights up above the island. So we'll see how that ends up turning out. And it is a set of 12 of them. It comes with the string to hang them up and they were $16.99. There is one more item from Amazon that I am ordering, but it has not arrived yet. It's a cute little set for my tiered tray and I'll pop a picture of that in here. It is $15.99 and it comes with a few different little items to decorate your tiered tray. And I think it will be really cute. And I actually found a couple more items in my closet that I missed when I was grabbing the other decor. So I'm gonna grab that real quick and that will finish up this video. So I picked up this pumpkin right here that has bats all over it. This came from Home Goods and was $16.99. Another item from Home Goods is this cute little ghost like candy jar and you put the candy in the ghost's mouth. I thought this would be really cute to sit on the coffee table and this one was $14.99. I have one more item from at home and I cannot believe that I forgot about these. They were kind of like tucked behind the door in my closet, which is why I didn't see them when I grabbed it. But this one says spooky and this one was $12.99. And the last thing that I picked up was also from Home Goods. This was from the one in a different state that I went to. This is a Ray Dunn ghost. It says boo right here. And again, you put the candy in its mouth. I'm planning on putting this one on the island as the part of the centerpiece and this one was $14.99 but that is going to be all for today's Halloween decor haul I really hope you enjoyed seeing all of the new items that I got to decorate with this year I am super excited to decorate so be sure to check back soon for my Halloween decorate with me video I cannot wait to decorate and I can't wait to share it with you all I hope that you all have a great day and a great week and I'll see you all in the next video bye